Hello everybody, welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review, and today we're going to be reviewing a really cool, awesome, unique, obscure diecast that I did not expect to be made at all on the 164 scale, but here we are, it did. And plus, this is the first 2023 Xfinity Series NASCAR Diecast that I got. The last one that I got, I believe, was Akinori Ogata's uh, Moon Eyes. Uh, number 13, MBM Motorsports, Toyota Cam Camry, Toyota Supra, I can't get the cars right. You know, um, uh, the new Toyota Camry for next year got me confused or mixed up with the cars. It should be the Supra in my opinion, but oh well. But back to what I was saying, um, that was, that was the last car that I collected and that was back in March. So here we are nine months later and we got ourselves... Sam Mayer's 2023 number one Hicks um, Market or something. I'm not 100% sure. Chevrolet Camaro for Junior Motorsports. As you can see, looks pretty cool. I was going to do a lot of die cast reviews but last month, but you know, um, I got sick from a cold and I just could not get to the cars. And now... I'm going to finally review this one because this one I just got recently because today is my birthday. It's an early birthday present. So if you get this far in the video, let me know if you see this part. Wish me a happy birthday if you haven't already on the community post that I made. But either way, it's a really cool car. Really obscure too. Like Junior Motorsports diecasts are hit or miss when it comes to pre-orders. Some get made, some don't get made. And the majority that gets made from are, you know... Justin Allgaier and Dale Hart Jr. But anyways, let's go over the box. You got 2020 free season. Junior Motorsports right there. The logo, the team logo. NASCAR Xfinity Series. Ages 4 plus. Let me go right here. Sam Mayer. Um, number one, Hux Market. Is that how you say it or did I say Hicks? I don't know. Uh, 2023 Camaro, limited edition. And you got a bunch of numbers. NASCAR right there. Yeah, that's uh, Lionel Racing, the official diecast of NASCAR, Axter Racing Collectibles. You got that barcode right there, 164 scale. Uh, NASCAR 75th anniversary, 1948 to 2023, as you can tell. The NASCAR season has already came to a close about a month ago. So, yeah, you got the QR code right there, www.lionelracing.com. And there's your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. So, yeah, let's get on with the diecast review, shall we? All right, the car is outside the box, as you can see. Looks pretty cool. Now let's bring in the car. Here it is. Wow. This is one cool looking paint scheme. I will have to admit, and I'm so glad we finally got ourselves a Sam Mayer 164 die cast. We've been essentially trying to get one of his die cast, NASCAR die cast, to get made since 2021. Um. Actually, even uh, uh, in addition, maybe even as well 2020 because, you know, he won that Bristol truck race, but that was only made in 124 as well with his 24 2021 die cast. And I don't know if he had any get released last year in the, in 124. I definitely know it's not 164, but finally, finally, we got ourselves a 164 Sam Mayer die cast. Looks really awesome. It it feels surreal to have like different kinds of Xfinity drivers because one you only get like Justin Allgaier, Dale Jr. cars, maybe even an obscure back marker car every once in a while, but but you don't get like drivers like Sam Mayer, Riley Herbst. You, you don't get none of those guys, or you don't get Ryan Sieg. You don't get Jeremy Clements. You don't get people that that people like. You don't get people that, you know, people like that run in Xfinity. And and Sam Mayer finally gets a 164 made. After like three years of trying, it finally paid off. And I'm so glad to get this car. It's so cool. And not to mention that the, one of the cars I was referring to, another one of the drivers, Brandon Jones, he got another he got another diecast get released this year. Um, I hope it's one of my birthday gifts. If not, looking forward to Christmas, but... I know that car may dry up, but anyways, let's get on with the review of the car. You go right here to the front, 
You got Xfinity, the purple Xfinity banner. You got Mayor right there. Uh, established 1974 Hux Market with with Kitchen. I think that's what it says. There's like a yellow circle around it. And you get like, this looks like the Lowe's logo almost. This kind of does, honestly. You got a black background right back here with some brown and then the white logo. Looks pretty cool with like the brown or black lettering. And you go to the front end of the car, you got the Chevrolet bow tie. The Camaro logo is a little crooked and... Those headlights too. I, I think I think this one should be closer down here. I don't know why Lionel always screws up on the Xfinity Camaro headlights. Like I get it, it's harder to do than Camaro, but come on, there has to be some point where you where where um you should be able to know how to do it, if that makes any sense. You got number one, Simpson ARP Sunoco Junior Motorsports. I like the front ends. Like it has a brown spoiler too. It looks really cool. The spoil uh, the and the grill on the car. There it is. You go right here. You got Goodyear uh, NASCAR 75th anniversary. You got more like orange, black it going across the car. Looks pretty cool. NASCAR seven NASCAR 75th anniversary logo. If I, if I haven't said it yet, NASCAR Xfinity Series Mobile One Kinetic Aero Brass or Arrowhead NASCAR Race Car Sam Mayer. You got SM Hux Markets OPS. Um, what does that say? employment uh grill or something i don't know um accurate accurate right here that's one of the cars that we've been trying to get made for the last couple of years but they never made moq i like how on the name rail there's there's brown right there looks really cool and there's black too exalta um you know on the american flag right there got to represent them all americans uh, um the sunoco ring or, or the American ethanol ring, I meant to say. What's on the B pillar? Um, I've been trying to look. That's right here. Um, something, something, ISM, something, I don't know. Watch, I'm going to take a picture of this car and then I'll see what those logos say. It's, 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 I got bad luck when it comes to trying to figure out what some teeny, teeny tiny logos say, but. I don't know. You got number one. I forgot to mention that. Oh, boy. And you got the, the fake door handle to represent the real Camaro. Looks pretty cool. Go to the other side of the car. It's basically the same thing. I'm not sure if the American flag was actually like that on this side of the car. But, oh, well, I'll take, I guess, I don't know if it's a Lionel issue or on the actual car. But it does kind of look weird. I wish it was the other way. You got um, Hux Market. You got Mechanics Wear Mac Tools. I don't know what that logo says right there. You got the tail lights. You got the bow tie. You got the rear facing TV camera number one. The Camaro with the fake exhaust pipes. You go to the back end of the car. You got um, uh, established 1974 Hux Market Mayor Junior Motorsports. And then you got number one on the roof. There's the under carriage of the car if you want to see that and of course if you want to see the interior detail you can as well there's the there's the steering wheel there's the throttle there's the seat there's the dash there's like the there's you know the fire extinguisher down there you can't see it but it's it, it is there you got like the roll cage and stuff the winter net looks pretty cool so yeah what a what a year Sam Mayer had in 2023. Um, when he first got an Xfinity, of course it did take a little while to for him to finally get some momentum. Like he made a lot of mistakes uh, and cost himself out of a bunch of wins. But man, when he find, when he when he got that win at 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 Road America, which unfortunately will not be on the 2024 schedule. I don't know. I heard it had to be due to you know Olympic stuff. That really got him going and. And he won three more times. And the next one he got was at Watkins Glen. It's like, sure, he bumped. He dumped Ty Gibbs. But, like, seriously, come on. Ty Gibbs is a cup driver. He shouldn't really have been in that race. Ryan Truex or Trevor Bain should have been in that car instead. And if it was if it was to an actual Xfinity regular like Sheldon Creed or or Kaz Grawl or someone else like that, then, yeah, that would have, been, that would have been dirty. But since it's a cup guy with nothing to lose who all who – one literally at the Indy Road course. There's nothing to complain about.
Seriously, San Mara did what he needed to do to win, and I think even Ty Gibbs pinched him up on near the wall, and he didn't appreciate that. So that really saved the race for me. Um, yeah, and this next win came at the Charlotte Roval. He needed to win that race to advance, which he did, and then he also won at Homestead, which when in the in the chase, just like he did at at Charlotte Roval, and that and he advanced into the final four. He didn't win the championship, but. He got a win at an on-road course. Um, he did it um, at Homestead, and that's really cool. I expect Sam Merritt to have like an even more impressive resume next year. I'm pretty sure he'll make it to the Final Four again, and I'm pretty sure he will. Trust me on that. Um, he has what it takes. I'm pretty sure he'll have a much more breakout season and be a lot more consistent. So, yeah. Feels so real to have a Sam Mayer diecast. I never thought we would see the day we would get a 164 of one of his cars. Now all we need is a Riley Herbst 164, another uh, to go along with the Brandon Jones car, a Riley Herbst, uh, I meant a Ryan Sieg 164, Jeremy Clements 164, which there is a 2023 Jeremy Clements 164 up for pre-order. I don't know where it's at in pre-orders, but I hope the fucking God it's, it has made MOQ because we honestly deserve our Jeremy Clements 164. And I forgot to mention Akinori Agata. That guy I mentioned, the Moon Ice car, he had another die cast get released on 164 being um, for uh, Emerlin Gates Motorsports. So looking forward to that. So yeah, let's get off this video. If there, if I do get any other die cast uh, for my birthday, which I probably will, I will do more reviews later today. Um, they'll either I'll probably upload another one tonight, tonight, but the other ones, depending on how much cars there were, there might be uploaded throughout next weekend or something so i hope you stay patient with me so yeah thanks for watching y'all make sure to give this video a like comment subscribe turn notification bell comment down below what you think about this diecast do you have it yet i don't know if i'm the first one to review it or not but i probably not but you, you never know diecast buffet i don't believe reviewed it nor original big Bry, nor last nascar fan nor alan nadu so yeah the third so yeah back to us saying thank you all so much for watching hope i'm the first but if not Oh well, but anyways, thanks for watching once again. Catch you next time. Peace out, y'all.